Bill got a new job working for the water utility. One of his first tasks is to take samples of the local drinking water from a collection site and send the samples to a lab for quality testing. Bill requests guidance from his coworkers, but only receives vague verbal instruction. Bill heads out to the collection site, unsure how to properly collect samples. While collecting samples, he drops the lid on the ground and puts it back on the sample bottle, possibly contaminating the sample. After the sample is collected, Bill puts the sample in a cardboard box and ships it to the testing facility. The testing facility receives it several days later. Since a standard operating procedure was not followed, the sample has been compromised and the test fails. The local news notifies the public that the town's drinking water has failed to pass its quality test and it's potentially contaminated. It's recommended the town avoid cooking with or drinking tap water without boiling it and that everyone take precautions when showering or brushing their teeth. This type of situation can lead to some very real consequences, all because the standard operating procedure set in place was not followed. Let's go back to the beginning. Like before, Bill is tasked with collecting samples of the local drinking water for testing. But this time, he receives the standard operating procedure for collecting samples. Uh-oh, it looks like Bill has dropped the lid to the sample bottle again, but this time, he follows the instructions on the standard operating procedure and uses a new clean lid instead. The SOP states that all samples be placed in a secure container, so Bill puts the samples in a cooler rather than a cardboard box. Following the instructions on the SOP, he ships the cooler to the testing facility using overnight shipping. The lab receives the samples the next day, and because the SOP was followed, the test can be accurate and it passes Standard operating procedures are written for a variety of tasks. An SOP limits confusion, promotes effective training of new employees, and standardizes complex procedures. It's important they're followed to ensure safety, quality, and efficiency.